Yo, 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 what is up, Halo community? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So a bunch of unreleased game modes have been leaked, and we're going to go over some of them, give you my thoughts, and yeah, let's go ahead and see what they're about. So let's go ahead and start out with the most important one that people are mostly looking forward to, I would say. And for good reason, because this mode itself is just awesome. It's a fun mode, and it's just great for Forge and Customs and all that. And that is none other than Infection. So Serezio actually leaked this on Twitter, and he was able to actually find Infection. And it seems like he's got a game going. I don't know. Anyways, let's go look at the description here. It says, surviving just got a whole lot harder. If you die by an infected tan, you join their ranks. So it is the infection we know and love. And here's the bad news. While we do know it's definitely going to be coming, uh, the bad news is that it's not going to be coming until season four, at least according to Serezio. And yeah, I mean, if we look at the roadmap, season three starts in like March 8th or something. I don't know. It starts in March. And that's when they're going to enter their seasonality phase or whatever, where apparently they're going to ramp up the updates or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But that pretty much just means we're not going to get infection until like halfway through the next year or possibly even towards like the ending of 2023. Now, here's a bit of good news, I guess you could say. Apparently during that season, they're going to come out with a hazmat fracture armor core, which I think is going to be interesting and definitely fun. So it might mean it's going to be an event mode. And it's going to be tied with the Fracture Core, I would assume. And the way I found this info was from B on Twitter. He actually replied to the tweet he leaked about uh, Infection from Serezio. And he pretty much just said a Hazmat Fracture Armor Core. Uh, yeah, it's coming too. So I, I think it's going to be kind of cool seeing the uh, Hazmat Fracture Core. But, um, you know, it's going to make Infection a little more fun, I feel like. Because you'll have, like, people in these Hazmat suits and stuff. It'll make it feel a little more immersive, I guess. But man, I mean that waiting time, dude, that's until 2023, like halfway. Man, that's that's nuts. So moving on to the next unreleased mode we got here, which was also leaked by Serezio, and that is Assault Rifle and BR starts. So currently in Slayer right now, the only ones we got is Assault Rifle and Sidekick, and then we got just BR. That's currently all we have right now, but apparently they're going to be merging basically the two, uh, and I, I guess they're just going to throw it into the Slayer playlist. Uh, so now we're going to have like AR and B BR starts. So kind of like Halo 3, because I think Halo 3 was like that as well. So um, I think that's pretty sweet. It's, it's nothing too huge, but uh, we'll definitely add to the Slayer playlist. On to another unreleased mode, which I think is pretty exciting as well. And I think a lot of people do enjoy. And that is Super Fiesta. So we do have Fiesta currently in Halo Infinite. And that's just random weapons uh, with, you know, the default guns. And assuming they take the same route with Halo 5, because in Halo 5 they had Super Fiesta, which was all the special weapons, it's probably going to work the same with Infinite. We're going to have all those campaign variants only. And so yeah, it's literally just Super Fiesta. It's Fiesta on freaking steroids. And yeah, Fiesta's a good time. Uh, I think this might be one of the modes that comes with Season 3, I believe he said. Uh, I could be wrong, but I believe he said it comes with Season 3. So um, yeah, that definitely should be fun. And apparently he's also working on a video showcasing the mode itself. Not sure when that's going to be posted, probably by the time I post this video. Alright, on to the last few unreleased modes. These are BTB variants. One is BTB Ninja, which is Energy Sword and Grapple Shot. Uh, we've seen that in the Rumble Pit playlist. I think it's just called Literally Ninja Slayer. So yeah, we're going to be getting that in BTB. That's probably going to be thrown into the BTB Social playlist, I would assume. And the one I've been waiting for for such a long time, and I feel like a good amount of people as well, is BTB BR br starts i know some people don't like br starts in btb on infinite for whatever reason which i do find quite interesting because literally every halo game in the past i think had br starts for btb um so i think it is quite a twist that people don't really want that in infinite or maybe it's kind of split i don't know and i could kind of understand why because people don't want to be lasered across the map um but that's just kind of due to like how halo infinite works right it's all like hit scan weapons and that's that's actually why i kind of like uh, projectile based weapons instead like in halo 3 you know everything's like projectile based or whatever things actually like take time to travel and and i don't know i i honestly would have preferred that over what we have now but um, i don't think hit scans like the worst of the worst but um i definitely would have preferred projectile weapons anyways it seems like we are going to get br starts in btb um i'm welcome to it because i definitely did want it but yeah I, I mean we'll see how it plays out i think it'll be pretty great so here's a few other modes that haven't been released although these we actually do know that they're coming because they are on the roadmap 
But I thought I'd share this anyways, because Serezio actually went ahead and tweeted this, and it seems like the modes that were shown on the roadmap, which is VIP and Escalation Slayer, are actually tied into some kind of event. As you can see in this picture, it says Event VIP, Event Escalation Slayer, and also Event Big Team Escalation Slayer, I'm assuming. Yeah, they all have the event tag. Um, who knows, they could update it over time and just change it to like regular. But honestly, it would make sense that these are event modes. Because, I mean, there's been a bunch of like other casual modes that we've had, like Tactical Slayer and stuff that were that were originally going to be part of a event. And if we look back at the roadmap, we do have confirmation on two events that will be happening, which is Joint Fire and Winter Contingency 2. And I'm going to assume Joint Fire is going to be tied with the VIP event. And Winter Contingency might be Escalation Slayer. But uh, yeah, just a quick little update there. So those modes are going to be event modes, it seems like. Although I am sure those will be present in the game once those events are over. You know, they'll add them in. Anyways, guys, that wraps up all the modes. These modes were leaked by Serezio and Delta Index. Also, shout out to B. Be sure to follow all these guys on Twitter and stuff. Because uh, yeah, they're pretty much just giving us info on a lot of infinite stuff that unfortunately we don't get through 343 through like any sort of communication. So we kind of have to rely on leaks currently. But yeah, let me know know what you guys think about these modes i think these modes are going to definitely help these are modes that i've wanted since like around launch so it's good to see we're actually getting them and they're not like you know just completely scrapped because that would have been more concerning so at least now we know some of these fan favorite modes are being worked on so with that being said consider subscribing and liking the video if you guys want to stay up to date with halo content like this and i'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching peace